So I want you to look at Tekken 8. It looks beautiful. We're watching the Leroy uh, 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 trailer trash. right now. This game, the, uh, hopefully you got it cranked up. I'm going to put this trailer out. I mean, this uh, video out in 4K. And Leroy and the rest of the cast, they look, they look amazing. They, this, this Tekken 8, this looks like, this is what in my mind Tekken 5 looked like in the arcades, right? And this Tekken 8, this Tekken 8, according to producers, according to producers at, at, at Tekken, uh, Harada in the game, this, this is not good enough. To quote the article that we're about to get in, they're not very happy with the way this looks. What's going on, man? Red K, Wally Mob Gaming, uh, back at it, and uh, Harada in the game, uh, Tekken 8. Uh, not very happy with the way, the current state that Tekken looks. Uh, Tekken, Tekken 8, from what I've seen in my opinion, and I haven't seen the game in motion, uh, on console, but just seeing it running uh, in 4K on a YouTube flattened screen, you know what I mean? Like, it already looks, it, it has horizon levels of detail in it. And according to them, not good enough. They can do better. According to the article right here, Tekken 8 producers are not very happy with the game's graphics. That is crazy. So uh, Tekken 8, especially anticipated amongst Bandai Namco, a long-running fighting game fans of the series, it's been nearly six years since the home release of Tekken 7. Um, it's making a big splash in the gaming world as it is set to aside a larger budget uh, for <laughs> more than once the last. Yeah, that's the, yeah, there, Street Fighter 6 and Tekken, there is a larger budget to the game now. They, they were, they, they didn't, they didn't see, they kind of were budget games, right? <laughs> they kind of were budget games. Maybe not, maybe not Tekken 7. But definitely Street Fighter uh, 5. All right, this article comes from The Gamer. So The Gamer recently uh, previewed Tekken 8 and came away impressed by the detailed visuals and exciting combat. The new game is developed in the Unreal Engine 5, uh, the current gen systems, and it's evident in the uh, particle effects, uh, character models, and the stages. Fans too have been remarking about the graphics, enjoying joking that it makes Tekken 7 resemble a PS three game. I mean, it kind of does because uh, Tekken 7 was actually in the arcades like for like three years before it actually came out, I think, on the PS4. Uh, but apparently the producers of the game uh, reckon the graphics could still be improved. Veteran of the series, game director and executive producer Katsuhiro Harada and his colleague Michael Murray uh, spoke with German game site. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, serial killers uh, at the Tekken Gamer magazine uh, recently and revealed that they were less than satisfied with Tekken 8's graphical abilities at this point. Article goes on to say, explaining that the Unreal Engine 5 has been used specifically to boost the game's graphics uh, with the character animations and gameplay mechanics underpined by the developer's own scripting and programming. But, but that when it comes to the Unreal Engine 5, it has a lot more uh, they think about when it comes to the lighting. So basically they're saying that the Unreal Engine 5 uh, does uh, good lighting and they want to crank that up, I guess. It seems like most game comp companies uh, can achieve high levels of quality uh, regarding the textures and uh, they use or the shaders or those kind of basic components. Arata told uh, Serial Killers via Murray uh, who translated what really sets them apart is the time for the for this generation. And also, Unreal Engine 5 is the lighting. So basically, just what we said. Uh, and that's been a very difficult thing for us to fine tune. Even uh, the build you have been, we have here today, because like, they're playing the build that they were letting everybody play, you have uh, hands-on with, I believe, we're not happy with the state of the graphics at the moment. We think we can do better. And one thing that has been difficult is the lighting. Uh, this is what really changes among the developers in different games. The producers explain that the lighting has been a challenge for the studio to tune uh, to the standards that they have set themselves, which I'm guessing are extremely high because it's Tekken we're talking about. And uh, they remain unsatisfied with how the currently looks, uh, the game currently looks. Uh, the gamers spent the day playing Tekken 8 recently and liked the game's graphics <laughs> even as it stands in the alpha build. 
Uh, so when the game does eventually release, perhaps we can expect further boosts in visual quality. For those interested, uh, the producer elaborated that it is about fine tuning where, uh, where individual lights are placed in the order of ach to achieve the look and feel that they want and that they can achieve a desired effect uh, with how the character looks uh, by the light placements on an, in on an individual stage. And it has to be considered uh, differently for each stage since the one setup might not look or might not work as desired on another stage. Uh, but the team will continue to work hard on this even if it's been difficult, Harada said. Of course, Tekken 8 coming to PC, Series X, PS5, all that good stuff. Um, and uh, there's no release date yet, but we're pretty much sure that's gonna come out sometime in 2024, uh, not getting in the way of uh, Street Fighter V. Um, when I first saw this, I think it's crazy uh, that uh, Tekken 8's uh, lead producers are, are like, yeah, we can make this thing look even better. I mean, when you think about it, uh, they you drop a, you drop a fighting game every, what, said six years? six seven years something like that i think street fighter uh wanted to do and if you it really if you take in the fact that um tekken 7 was in the arcade for what three years before it came to the console that's what a game six seven eight nine years almost ten years so i guess you want the game to look as visually stunning as it can because the game is going to run have a long run whatever the case is but man like i feel like when i saw tekken 7 first i'm like can we live at this stage when i saw the first like a uh, trailer and uh, like, like, can I live life this fast? You know what I'm saying? And the fact that they could make, think that they can make it look better. I mean, if anybody can, it's that team at Tekken. I mean, they know what they're looking for. And if they're disappointed by what's blowing everybody else away, I mean, it's kind of taking the hype in Street Fighter V, right? Uh, nobody wants to say it, but like, like Street Fighter V looks good. Street Fighter V looks damn good. But when compared to Tekken, ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, I am excited to see uh, what level can Tekken actually get to. Like, and I want to compare trailers with gameplay when it actually comes out to see if they were able to get that lighting in a better place uh, before the game drops. They got they got a year, a year plus probably, right? Anyways, man, uh, be good. Be safe till next time. That's all I got for you for this one. I'm Red K, Wally Mob Gaming. Good morning, FGC. I'm out. Peace.